Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're going to do a comparison with 22 long rifle handguns. Here we've got the kel P17 and over here we've got the Taurus TX-22 Competition. They are different in many ways but they're also similar. People wanted the original Taurus TX-22. I don't have it anymore, I regret it, but I got the Competition which is actually an upgraded model. Let's start with the kel P17. 3.8 inch barrel. It is budget priced $199 and Caltech did not raise it once all the craziness started happening. Shipped with three 16 round magazines. It has adjustable serrated black rear sights, fiber optic front sight, already mentioned 3.8 inch barrel, has a Picatinny rail right there, machine screws all over it. Ambidextrous thumb safety, trigger guard magazine release which is also ambidextrous and a interesting design you can see the slide right there so it's really not a a full slide as we know slides to be it has this bay, uh, top plate here it's not optic ready i know some people were able to manipulate an optic this one is not optic ready the trigger pull which is a hammer fired gun it has a hammer fire indicator right there measures right around three and a half to three and three quarters and a, a very short reset now I've run a bunch of ammo through this it has performed pretty impressive my original thought was it feels like a squirt gun and it kind of does but it runs and the feedback that I've gotten from the viewers say that thing runs and I shot it and guess what it ran. So let's run it right now. We'll start with the target on the right. And that was 16 rounds. And it ran. So for a very inexpensive handgun, 199, you're looking at, before it was 350. Yeah, I've seen a little bit there, but it's dropped a little bit. So I'm thinking. The upper 200s will get you the P17. At least that's what I saw in my research. And three 16 round magazines, not bad at all. But now we've got the Taurus TX-22 competition. And what I really like is what Taurus did with the optic mounting plates. It's on the hood of the barrel, which is very interesting. Exposed barrel, five inch bull barrel that is threaded. Oh, by the way, the P17 is threaded too, so both have that advantage and it is an advantage because a lot of people are running cans i've got a 22 can but that's second we have a similar if not the exact same frame as the original tx22 but it has the five inch competition barrel aluminum slide 16 round magazines and this one is going for right around 450 so it's offering more they have four plates for the optic. You can mount nine different red dots on here. I've got a Vortex Viper. Uh, correction, the Venom. I had to look at that. I had the Viper out earlier. Ambidextrous thumb safety. Awesome handgun. Now, the original TX-22, a lot of people said, that thing's great. They said, I like that better than the Glock. I picked it up for $300. It runs better than the Glock 22. I believe that's called the 44. So here we go, I've got the red dot on. All right, ran just as well. So we've got the more expensive, but very cool Taurus TX-22 competition. And we have the less expensive, but just as reliable, kel P17. 5-inch barrel, 3.8-inch barrel, both single-action triggers, hammer-fired, striker-fired, both 16-round magazines. It's actually a pretty good comparison if you think about it. And both fire really well. And both have ambidextrous, well, the Taurus has ambidextrous thumb safety. This has mag release and thumb safety. Uh, better looking here, but, you know, looks only matter if it runs and both run very well. So which one would you choose? Let me give you my thoughts. I was a huge fan of the Taurus TX-22. I foolishly sold it. 
and then they came out with the competition and I was able to pick this up. I'm not selling this. It, it, it runs just as well, optic ready, super cool. I'm going with this. That's not to say this is not worthy. For a 22 long rifle hammer fired gun that runs everything with 16 round mags for an MSRP of 199, it's great. If I was on a strict budget, I would go with this. But in this comparison, I like the TX-22 competition uh, a little bit better. You know, if I had to get rid of one, it'd be this one. Probably because I know I could pick it up again rather cheap. What I really want to know is which one would you choose. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.